fall is my season. Fall is when I come alive. I was wearing my plaid poncho the other day, got myself a brown sugar pearl milk tea, which I guess is a step up from my usual pumpkin spice latte. I have my pumpkins out. I'm like, I'm there, I'm living for it. And these are the fragrances that I am the most excited to wear this fall. So if you guys are interested in seeing my personal top fall picks, then keep on watching. If you're new here, my name is Yana. This is The Scented. We do the fun fragrance things. Subscribe, hit the bell, and here we go. Let's start with the designer fragrances. I'll go through the designer ones first. I know most of you guys are more interested in the designer ones, and that way you'll have it all in one place. YSL Libre Le Parfum. This is the newest release. I love this one. This is the one for me that I think I'm gonna be reaching for the most this fall. I have been known to love the Intense and the Original and the EDT, all of them. I'll link my comparison video up here. Um, for the fall though, this is gonna be my pick. It has a really nice warm spice to it. It has ginger, saffron, a very subtle honey note. I'm generally not someone who likes honey, but I do like it in here. You still get the original Libre DNA with lavender, vanilla, the white florals, but really, really warmed up. Like this one really does kind of bring that fire. It is super similar to the Intense though, but I'm most excited about this. It seems to work really nicely on my skin, although I don't find it as long lasting as the Intense. Another one is Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry. This is not one that I was able to wear in the warmer weather. Now that the cooler weather is here, I'm excited to wear this one. I have been craving cherry. I've been so on a cherry kick, discovering all new cherry fragrances in time for fall and winter. And this one is super unique and has a very distinctive cherry note, but instead of the usual cherry and tonka combo or cherry and leather, this one gives you cherry and wood, a really nice Palo Santo, which is slightly sweet. Like if you burn Palo Santo to cleanse your house, you'll know what Palo Santo smells like. I love it. It has Gaiac, really nice grounding woods with the cherry note. To me, it doesn't smell medicinal. It actually smells delicious. There's a little bit of a sweetness in here as well. There's a praline note, so you get a little, almost like a chocolatiness. It smells kind of like Cherry Garcia ice cream, but with woods, with a nice, warm, woody facet. So definitely cool weather only. I will try layering this with some of the other Kaeli fragrances, like maybe the vanilla and invite only amber. So I'll do a little bit of a comparison between those two. But yeah, I'm like super pumped about this. I'm here for their bottles. They're so pretty. They look like little gems. This one I have been loving lately. This is black currant syrup. Delicious, very sexy, very comforting and warm. This is Sea Intense, the new one, 2021. The original one I have as well, and it's lovely, but it's more powdery. And this one is a lot more syrupy. There's rose as well, but it's not super strong. Like I can't do super sweet rose in here, it works. And black currant really offsets super sweetness for me because it has a bit of a tart facet. So this one is super balanced, sweet, rich, warm fragrance that I could totally wear and really, really fall vibes this one. I love the color of it. I love everything about it. This one just screams fall. Here's one you guys probably did not expect to see on this list because I've been such a black opium hater since day one, but I did go ahead and pick up the Intense and I really like this one. It's a much more coffee centric black opium. It doesn't have the fruitiness of the pear, which so deeply offended me. This is just coffee, really nice creamy coffee. And there's a very interesting note of absinthe in the opening. It almost gives you a minty coolness, but it does settle to just basically a creamy coffee scent and I really like it for that. I don't like fruitiness in my coffee and this one doesn't have fruitiness so it's wonderful. If you guys can ever find the Intense, I'm not sure if it's discontinued or not, but if it is, grab it because honestly this is the best black opium flanker. This one and the Nuit Blanche, but the Nuit Blanche is definitely discontinued and basically impossible to find at this point. Trust me, this is really, really good as a coffee fragrance. Then I've really hopped on the sniff train. This is Suganami. This smells so similar to Dior's Bois d'Argent, but it's a clean fragrance and it has a nice dry woodiness. It also has like a honeyed facet. Oh, it is so lovely. I love their fragrances. This one is insanely long lasting, like insanely long lasting. My man wore this one as well to compare to Bois d'Argent because that's one of his signature scents. We both 
find it to be super, super similar. It just has less sweetness, less of that honey note. In fact, I don't think it has any honey at all. It has a really nice warm myrrh note. It is another really fall-esque scent for me. Those spices and that warmth is just perfect for the fall weather. Commodity gold, just the expressive, not the plus or the minus. I love this vanilla scent. This is such a beautiful, cozy vanilla. It reminds me of something like Gypsy Water and Eau Duel, but more vanilla, kind of softer, fuzzier, and a little bit woody. This is such a beautiful scent. I am not a vanilla lover, so when I find a vanilla scent that works for me, I get so happy, and usually it comes with a woodiness. This one has juniper, it has sandalwood. It's such a good blend. This one, I'm just loving, loving for fall. I do have promo codes and discounts for some of these, so I'll make sure to link everything in the description if you did wanna check them out. Hair is a niche fragrance that is pretty much brand new that I have been completely obsessed with lately, and it's called Click Song from a brand called Une Nuit Nomad. This is a really warm, ambery, labdanum scent, so you get a little bit of leather. This really reminds me of Chanel Coromandel, but it's so much better. Coromandel dries down on my skin too, not a pleasant patchouli scent, but this one doesn't do that. This is the perfect ambery patchouli scent. A touch of leather in here, a little bit of rose and geranium. It's such a warm, cozy, very unisex scent. But I mean like very unisex. I can easily, easily wear this. Ladies, don't be scared of the labdanum that gives that leather scent. It's very smooth, it's very balanced. It's truly one of the best niche releases that I have smelled in a very, very long time. This one, when I first discovered it and I went through the whole discovery set of Unui Nomad, this one blew my socks off. It is incredible. They actually have a lot of really good fragrances, but this one is number one for me. I got on board with Lune Feline from Atelier des Arts. This lives up to the hype. It's a very unique, spicy, warm vanilla scent. Another vanilla that I can get down with. I am mesmerized by these gold flakes. I keep staring at it and they just look like they're floating in space with zero gravity and it's, it's mesmerizing. The beauty of these bottles and the scent itself, the scent is of indescribable beauty. Like when I say a spicy, warm vanilla, it doesn't really sound that interesting. It does remind me a little bit of changing constants, but I'm telling you this is on a whole different level. There are facets and magic in the scent that I've never experienced before. What a fantastic job. I, I got a few Atelier des Arts fragrances. I also really like Rouge Serai. That one is my second favorite. But Lune Feline, I'm super pumped about. Like this is gonna replace Changing Constance for me for sure. It's just way more balanced, way more complex and stunning. And probably the only real gourmand on this list is Atelier Materi Cacao Porcelana. This is a chocolate scent. Chocolate and me as well, we don't get along. So I like to dabble and push my limits a little bit in fragrances that I wouldn't typically go for. And I'm super excited about Cacao Porcelana. It has a rum note. It really smells like one of those rum filled chocolates or like the brandy filled chocolates, but with rum. It's not an overpoweringly sweet chocolate, it's cacao. Think of like a cacao nib, kind of like that. A little bit of smooth rum, tobacco, tonka. It's powdery, it's, it's very, very smooth. It's a gourmand, but it's very wearable and it actually smells high-end, very classy, very elegant, and totally unisex. So actually I could really see this on men and this would smell so sexy on men but I, I myself can't wait to wear this. This is gonna be a beautiful one for the fall. Then BDK Crème de Cuir. This I got in the summer and I've been waiting for the weather to cool down so that I could wear it. It's a beautiful cozy suede. It has a little bit of sweetness in the opening, but it really settles into just a musky, soft, cozy suede, buttery. It really smells like there's butter in here. It is incredible really one of the best suede fragrances that I've smelled. This is so underrated from BDK. I've tried so many from them already and this really is the only one at the moment that I'm finding full bottle worthy and it's one that very few people really hype but I think it deserves a lot of hype especially if you're a leather lover and a suede lover like I do love a leather note but I need it to be smooth so this delivers. And finally, Jules Aimade Fugite Amour. This is a spicy scent, a refreshing spicy scent with a beautiful, strong ginger note. 
I've talked about this one before and then I, I guess I set it aside. It's more of a cooler weather scent for me because even though those spices are kind of fresh and aromatic, it's a scent that I want in the fall. It gives you a cool spice for sure. You have carnation in here as well. There's a very classic touch to this fragrance, but it's a very unique blend. It almost smells as if there's a minty coolness in here as well. There's cardamom, elemy, pink pepper, and all of those notes give a cooling effect but spicy. This is probably the most different of the bunch because it's really, like it doesn't have any vanilla, it doesn't really have any sweetness. It's just a really aromatic, classic, unique, elegant fragrance. Really worth checking out. I, I bet you guys haven't really heard much about the scent, but it's such a beauty. So those are my personal 10 top picks for fall. These are the ones that I'm gonna be wearing most. I would love to hear what you guys are gonna be reaching for. What are your favorite fall fragrances and cold weather fragrances? Leave me a comment, let me know, and I will definitely check those fragrances out. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.